One of the names you don't hear about as much if you watch the PGA Tour is Miura. That's because they do not pay their golfers to play their wedges. However, they are a very fine craftsmanship iron and wedge line that's built out of Japan. These are beautiful wedges, and we're going to feature them for you here on Golf Live. This is the Series 57 K-Grind wedge, and this is their new Series wedge. Let's take a look at them independently. First, let me talk about the K-Grind wedge. What they've done is you can tell that it looks like some fingerprints were pushed into the back of that wedge, into the bounce or knuckles, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of an interesting shape. And what they've done here is they've created this uh, bounce shape in order to lower the resistance in uh, deep rough, uh, heavy sand, wet kind of conditions, that type of thing. But they've also created a nice solid bounce. They've lowered the bounce on this wedge, and uh, th this wedge is very good for uh, fairway lives, that type of thing. Uh, you might find that with lower bounce for certain type of players, you might want a little more bounce. This is a very good all-around wedge. It's a beautifully crafted wedge. Miura is known for their craftsmanship. They, they have been described as from the hands of God, uh, and Mr. Miura has been crafted crafting wedges for many, many years now. What he uses is he used a forge process and his grain structure is extremely tight. They claim that their grain structure is tighter than anyone else can uh, reach on the market so you won't see this type of a grain structure and the purity of the contact in other wedges. I will vouch for the fact that in hitting this wedge it is an extremely solid wedge. Now it is a heavier wedge than many people are uh, used to so when you first get it that forge wedge it's very solid very heavy it does lead to your your wedge dropping down to the ball very cleanly. Some people may find that they hit this wedge fat to begin with. This being a 60, you, you will do that occasionally. But once you get used to it, I hit some very solid balls with it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at me hitting my uh, traditional Cleveland wedge that I use, which is 60 degree, versus this Miura wedge and try to see what the differences are there. All right, so first up, I'm gonna hit the Cleveland wedges um, that I have, the standard cleaning wedges that I've been playing for a while. This is a 57 series K grind. It has the relief, kind of looks like knuckles. Here we go. I've made the lines on our golf simulator black to indicate the Miura wedge that I'm hitting versus what I was hitting before, which is my st standard wedge. Hitting about 90 yards there, 4,200 on this RPM on this backspin. And that was well struck. Hit that really well. That ball is definitely flying off this 60 degree a lot farther than what I'm hitting my 60, uh, the Cleveland 60. Backspin's much higher. Launch angle 32, so a better launch angle altogether. So altogether, I'm really impressed with the feel of this. The thing about this Miura wedge that I'm finding is this forged wedge is just so well built. It's heavy, um, a little heavier than I'm used to. The other thing is, is the ball really takes off off the face, but you don't feel it so much. Um, it's just a pure feel. It's completely pure. I mean, you can feel almost so pure that you can feel almost exactly on the club face where you're hitting that thing, which is really a beautiful thing. I mean, you get that instant response of where that ball came off the club face. So very tight feel for, for a wedge, which definitely you like. All right, I picked that one really clean. Hit that pretty far. You can see the grouping I'm getting there is pretty consistent, about 90 yards, about a 4,200 backspin, launch angle about 34 degrees. So I'm getting a nice consistent grouping off of this wedge. I really like the way this wedge is a little heavier, helps me fall right into the slot. Great craftsmanship, beautiful wedges. Um, if you want a wedge, a high-end wedge, something that you're going to be proud of in your bag, I tell you what, this uh, Series 57 K Grind Wedge is the wedge for you. It's a little pricey, but a very, very nice wedge. Craftsmanship is at a premium on this wedge. Now we're going to take a look at Miura Golf's new wedge series. This is a 57 degree. It's a standard looking wedge, a little bit more toe and heel relief, uh, a pretty square bounce. 
pretty solid wedge, very pretty, very nice looking wedge. Again, a forged wedge, so a little bit heavier than most people are used to with a cast wedge or some other type of wedge. This is definitely a nice wedge. Let's see how I do with it. I mean, the thing I love right off the bat is just the purity of the shot. I mean, it is a solid feeling wedge right off the bat. I'm getting a little bit more distance. I'm keeping a nice launch angle, but getting more spin out of this wedge I'm finding. Let's try again. And I tried to throw that one up in the air. Again, I'm getting a low ball flight off of this wedge. So 57 degree, you hit it pretty well. Let's hit a couple more. What I like about it, I'm hitting them a little bit farther than my other wedge. Of course, it's a 57 degree, so that's interesting because my other wedge is a 56 degree. All right, so a nice little uh, knockdown type shot. Hit it really pure. Low launch off of this wedge, high back spin. Low launch off of this wedge, high back spin. A heavier wedge than you might be used to. This is a precision engineered wedge. It is a wonderful wedge, fine craftsmanship. I think you're gonna find this to be a wedge that you may wanna add to your golf bag if you're looking for high-end golf equipment. Miera Golf from Japan. Check them out, mieragolf.com. We give it a five-star rating because we think these are high-end wedges that you might like.